covering Colorado first at five this Friday. The murder of a woman in Fort Collins is raising new questions about how sex offenders can be tracked when they don't have a permanent address. Helena Hoffman was killed walking home from work. The man charged in her murder is a sex offender and was a transient in the Fort Collins area. Jeffrey Etheridge is now facing kidnapping and sex assault charges as well as murder. Karen Morfitt is in Lakewood in Jefferson County tonight. And Karen, his offender status has raised a lot of questions and even outrage when law enforcement agency. Yeah, Karen, and specifically one portion of the offender registration form is really raising concerns. It's the part here that allows them to register without having a permanent address. Now, we're told that uh, we asked the Colorado Bureau of Investigation just how many uh, sex offenders are homeless in the state of Colorado, and what we found may surprise you. A little more than a month after moving to Fort Collins, 27-year-old Jeffrey Etheridge is now accused in the rape and murder of Helena Hoffman. Her body was found in the lake at City Park. She was in the wrong Zach place at Denton the wrong time shares a four-year-old daughter with Simple Hoffman. She walked that park every single day. She must have walked it a couple hundred times. She knew it like the back of her hand. Etheridge was convicted out of state for possessing child pornography and registered as a sex offender in Fort Collins. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation oversees the state registry. There's approximately 18,000 registered sex offenders in the state of Colorado. So of that 18,000, there's about 900 of those who are either homeless or transient. Without a permanent address, Etheridge, under state law, was allowed to list himself as transient, ultimately allowing him to roam freely around the Fort Collins area and making it difficult for law enforcement to track. If somebody is transient, they say they may be in this area, but they're not really going to be there. They are, uh, you know, as the, the word denotes, they're transient. They're going to move from place to place. Larimer Sheriff Justin Smith took to Facebook. He called the murder of Hoffman inexcusable and urged the community to demand change in policy. Marshall, Medina says as an agency, us, um, they too Patrol, see the frustration. We have, we're trying to determine ways that we can increase the um, verification of addresses or locations to try to help in the process, but it is challenging. Now, because Etheridge registered as a sex offender in Fort Collins less than a month before this crime happened, he was considered in compliance with the law. He is currently being held in the Larimer County Jail without a bond and will be back in court next month. We're live in Lakewood tonight. Karen Morfitt, CBS 4 News. Karen, thank you.